what's happening around me and the seasons and the colors give me um, a language that um, informs and integrates with what I'm feeling inside. In other words, there's a relationship between the seasonal um, experience both on the outside as well as the seasonal experience that's happening within. Hey everyone, I'm Marianne Mitchell. Welcome to Whole Artist Mastery, where you discover really what your true artistic voice is and learn how to make compelling work and to know how you want to show up in the world as an artist. So here in the Northeast part of the United States, we're moving into winter. Most of the leaves are gone on the trees and the sky colors are getting cooler and more silvery and more muted. And <clears throat> there's this sense of quietness moving in. Now, living here in this part of the world, we really have the opportunity to experience all four seasons. So it's a huge part, at least for me, and I think for many of you, it's a huge piece of inspiration or um, a way to, you know, what's happening around me and the seasons and the colors give me um, a language that um, informs and integrates with what I'm feeling inside. In other words, there's a relationship between the seasonal um, experience, both on the outside as well as the seasonal experience that's happening within. So in the winter, we tend to sort of move inside of ourselves. And even when it's not really cold and windy out, which it actually is today, I see the leaves blowing around. And that's making me feel more contained. And sometimes it can be difficult to shift from the paintings that I've been working on that maybe I've been working on for several months and they started in the summertime and now here I am in the wintertime. And you know, how do I bring those two worlds together? And sometimes it makes me feel a little stuck. It makes me feel a little like I, I start avoiding coming into the studio to paint because I'm, I'm without, the language that I started with in a painting has disappeared and I need to replace it with this new language of more of an interior feeling than in the summertime, which is very exuberant and for me, very expansive. So, one way I make, help myself make that shift is by doing small pieces, doing small paintings. So I'm going to do a small painting today that is, um, that, that's founded in the colors that I have around me right now, more muted, um, and we'll see what happens. Maybe some bright colors will show up. Probably they will because the juxtaposition of bright and muted colors, they talk to each other. So if a painting is entirely of muted colors, it's going to feel flatter than if there was just a little bit of, of brightness in it. Conversely, if a painting is all bright, then it also feels flat. So you need to have the two working together. You need to have muted and bright colors. So I'm gonna make a small piece and we'll see what happens.
Okay, let's take a look together. So at this stage, before I continue on, if I decide to continue on, I must take the tape off because what you see here is not actually what the piece is. So I'm gonna take, and what I've done is I've taped, and I need to take my gloves off to do this. I've taped the piece of oil paper to the wall and then made a border with a second round of tape so I can easily pull this tape off without it coming off the wall. And you will see it looks entirely different without the tape. And there we go. Wow, I like it so much better without the tape. <laughs> Um, so I decided to put this orange in just as a way to bring light to the very light blue. And, you know, I actually kind of like this piece. It's very simple. It's very quiet, which is exactly what I was explaining how I feel. So it feels really good to do this when you're kind of stuck, when you're in that limbo land, and um, it helps you connect to the world around you. So I invite you to pull out a small piece of paper. This is uh, Arches oil paper, if you're working on oils, or watercolor paper, or print, uh, Reeves printmaking paper, oil pastels, and just open yourself into the seasonal energy around you and see what comes out. And hopefully it will move you into another color palette that matches both the exterior as well as your interior. So I look forward to hearing from you in the comments below about how this may have worked for you. And I invite you to head on over to the Whole Artist Mastery website where you'll see all kinds of things that we provide there for different levels of engagement in your artistic practice from mentorship programs, which is really a deeper level of work, to Wham Wednesday, which is a free virtual um, discussion every month on a Wednesday and you'll see the list there and all kinds of other things. So I hope you enjoy the website. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to see you like the video and I look forward to hearing from you as to what you think about this piece and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.